Hey y'all, what's up? It's Yvonne Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. I hope you guys are doing well, doing swell, all of that good shit. <laughs> welcome back. Um, you all already know we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Remember, this is general, so take what resonates and if it does not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? So, I've already prayed over my cards. Y'all already know how I do. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm up again late at night, y'all. I've been sleeping a lot, like, on and off um, during the day. So my sleep pattern just been, like, all over the place. All right. So we got do it on your way, investments, and your ex. Phone call. So Divine Feminine, whatever you, somebody just made like a recent investment. That's what I'm getting. Um, whatever you've been investing in, um, your time, energy, finances, or whatever, is going to work out for you. And you're on your way towards things working out for you whatever it is that you're investing in. Um, but yeah, someone's gonna be getting a phone call from their ex. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, also, y'all, keep in mind, like, y'all know we're going through Mercury retrograde, so a lot of people are, like, getting their karma. A lot of people are gonna be trying to, like, come back around you know, and your energy, um, a lot of reconciliations are going to be happening, a lot of reconnections, you know, during this time, so just be, um, I know it's a lot of cards, just be careful, um, about making any permanent decisions. shopping spree um make love on the balcony balance use your voice <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so somebody's getting ready to go shopping. Um, I feel like for somebody, it's like you're trying to change your whole look around. Um, anyway, somebody's also getting ready to take a trip, I feel like, as well. Um, this could be like a solo trip or this could be a vacation. I'm not sure, but somebody's getting ready to take a trip. Also, like I said, whatever you're investing in, it's going to bring um, balance into your life. Like I said, it's going to work out for you, whatever it is, only you know, but it's going to work out for you like you're on your way. I don't know if somebody just started like a business or what, but it's going to work out for you and it's going to be balanced. Also, whenever your um, ex comes in, hold on. Whenever your ex comes in with this communication, I feel like they're going to be making excuses or probably that's what they were doing in the past. Um, but when they do call you, um, like speak up about the way that you feel. You don't have to like be, you know in bitch mode <laughs> but um <clears throat> definitely use your voice my throat chakra almost got blocked like don't be afraid to tell them how you feel you know what i'm saying stand in your power you're also a trendsetter as well like i said some of y'all like getting ready to switch up your whole style and get ready to go on this little shopping spree going on girl and 
like people are gonna see like, oh dang, like I really like her style, I really like her swag. You probably already get that now. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like you're just very unique when it comes down to your sense of fashion and just how you dress and how you present yourself. It's just very different. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to pull from yeah, because I'm not getting nothing. I feel like I want to pull from this deck over here. For a lot of you guys, um, I feel like um, coming out of um, this like Mercury retrograde, you're going to be like a totally different person. So if you're going through like an awakening right now, or if you're just feeling like really tired, um, really sluggish. <laughs> Um, that's why it's because you're having an awakening okay um, drink a lot of water get a lot of rest okay okay so we got you don't need no one that's what this is supposed to say. Um, and then we got, I wish I didn't love you so much. I feel like your ex thought you was always going to be like sticking around and waiting on them. Always needing them and wanting them. I feel like you gave them a lot of chances. But now they realize you don't need anybody, especially not them. You know what I'm saying? No, no offense, but you don't need them. And um, they love you a lot. They wish that they didn't love you as much because they can't just move on from this. I feel like they gave you a lot of red flags, a lot of things that you tried to ignore. But it was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you were kind of like done with the situation. You just stand out as well, Divine Feminine. And then we got, you were built for this and you can have it all. Like I said, you're a trendsetter. Um, some of you could be like in fashion or like, I don't know, that's what I'm getting for somebody. Um, but yeah, some of you guys could be like in fashion. I'm getting the chills. So I feel like Somebody needs to follow their passion when it comes to fashion. I know that rhymes, but <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Um, you were built for this. You're supposed to be doing this. You're going to send out. You guys know how we have all these big names, you know, these big designer brands and stuff like that. No shade or nothing like that, but <clears throat> I feel like some people just need to stop idolizing, you know, big name brands so much. Um, and really just believe more in yourself, believe in your own brand, believe in your own vision. You know, you were built for this and you can have it all. Whatever you want, you can have it. You can have it all. I don't care what people say, like you can have it all and you're gonna have it. As long as you like follow through with this, you're gonna have it. Um, yeah. Y'all know it was like, wasn't it just like New York Fashion Week or something like that? I feel like for somebody, like you could be possibly um, in, in the future, you know, working at the New York Fashion Week or like have your own fashion show 
you know, with your own like clothing line or something like that. That's for somebody very specific. So, like I said, y'all take what resonates. I gotta get to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's beautiful though. Like that's exciting too. I don't know where that came from either because don't let them say, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, what else do you Alright, so we got I'm not going back. So for a lot of you guys, you're not going back to your ex. You're not going back to the same situation that you worked really hard to get out of. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, it took a lot for you to walk away. Because you were very loyal to this person. For some of y'all, um, that's what it was like with you. You know, you're very big on loyalty. And I feel like this person just wasn't, you know, loyal enough to you. And then we got, I want to relieve your stress. Mm. 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 So we got, I want to relieve your stress. Um. I feel like that's what you wanted from this person. I feel like now this person does want to come in and like give you or show you like some type of loyalty or whatever and kind of like take the stress off of you as far as the situation goes between you two guys. You know what I'm saying? Kind of give you a different perspective. But it's like, they want to keep this on the low. Like, for some of them, I feel like it's because they're not out of the situation yet fully. They could possibly still be dealing with somebody or living with somebody because it has, like, I'm leaving her for you that came out. So it's like until they get out of that situation fully, they don't want to, you know, they don't want everybody to know about you guys. Like, you know, you guys posting on social media and, you know, stuff like that. They just want to keep it on the low. But then we got I'm leaving her for you. And then we have the lurking card as well. I feel like whoever they're dealing with has been like spying on you. They might know who you are. I don't know. But somebody's been lurking on your page, on your social media. Um, I do feel like it's this person, whoever they're leaving you for. Like they know also um, that the situation is done between them and this other person. Like the third party, they know. I feel like that's why they're spying on you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see like, oh, is he, has he come towards her yet? Like, are they talking? You know, she, they're just trying to figure out what's going on. But it's very hard to read your Divine Feminine because you're very private. Like, even if you post stuff, it's like you can post stuff without telling people your business. Like, that's just how you move. You know what I'm saying? You, you're just a little, you know what I'm saying? A little sleek bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, then we got the people look up to you card that came out. So like I said before, you're a trendsetter, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are getting ready to transform into like your higher self, like who you were really meant to be, you know, on this earth. And it's beautiful, like allow this evolution to happen, allow this change to happen, allow this transition to happen and just go with it because you were built for this. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel different, but allow it to happen, okay? 
anyways that's what i got for you beautiful divine feminists if it resonated go ahead and donate to the channel energetically by giving the video a thumbs up all right and that way you know we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminists so we can keep healing growing and growing over here and i will see you guys in my next one all right god bless